Hello, 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 and welcome to Prog Review 500 and 540. Does that sound right? I don't know. It's been a long time. 540. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's been a long time, and I'm talking about this. This is Misplaced Childhood by Marillion. It's their third studio album. It's kind of the second time I've talked about it, but this is the deluxe edition, apparently limited edition deluxe format. It's got four CDs and a Blu-ray. Count them. I wasn't going to get this. I wasn't, and then I saw that it was a, it was actually limited or something, and I thought, well, maybe I should get maybe I should get it, cover it, you know, and then. You know, then I then I got a copy. That's it, really. That's the story of it. I wasn't, and I was mainly because my money's too tired to mention, and so um, the prog review budget is is basically now being used to, to feed the kids. You don't hear my problems. Uh, there is a, there is a patron, by the way. There's a patron. You can send me money. There are links. There are links where you can you can keep the good ship lock afloat. Boop boop. Um, but yes, I wasn't going to get this, and I thought, well, I'll get it, and I'll, I might be able to flog it on, and, and you know, and not lose any money on it because of it being a limited edition. So anyway, so anyway, we can discount the first disc because it's the it's a, is it it says twenty seventeen remaster. But you might as well just throw it away. It it sounds just as like like it sounds just like that one. I, you know, I couldn't really you know there wasn't couldn't get a fag paper between, so we just throw that away. Disc two, you've got um, uh, some. It's two and three are live at Utrecht in 1985, where they've spread a concert over two CDs. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's interesting to I know hear Emerald Lies going into a script into a, uh, for a Jester's Tear. Interesting, interesting to hear Incubus. Can't stand Chelsea Monday, and the web is all right-ish. But then the rest of it. Is all misplaced childhood done live? Now we've already done this. We've already been there. It's available on La Gaza Ladra, the Thieving Magpie, which was released in 1988, I think, when Fish left. It was these, the parting shot, the swan song, as it were, and it's all on there. And that's a really good album. I quite, I quite like that. It was quite good for the time, um, and it really captured the band. Even though, like, there's one disc where it's dedicated to. Uh, misplaced Childhood, the other disc is kind of a a, a potpourri of um, Merillion standards done live. Uh, so for me, yeah, it's, it's all right, it's all right, but uh, I have an issue with all these live things. Well, sorry, with all these these deluxe things, sorry. It's been a long time, I'm out of practice. Um, it's been <laughs> they pack it with um, live material, and I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, it's just filler, isn't it? Let's be honest, it's just filler. We don't need these blooming live albums. Um, and then we have disc four, which is singles, b-sides and stuff, which is basically the second CD of this. Yeah, I think it is just the, it is just the second. Yeah. Yep, yeah, from what I'm seeing here, second CD of this. So if you got this, you're going to get it again. But, and it's a big but, um, the the Blu-ray at the end is where where the fun lies, where the real value begins. Uh, for you have the album remixed by Stephen Bloody Wilson uh, in 5.1. And um, I think, is there a stereo? No, I don't think. Yeah, there's the Misplaced Patrol remaster in stereo. It's not as touched by Wilson. So... So really, you're you're there for the five point one mix, and it sound it really. I mean, I know I know Wilson said there's not much to do with it, but it sounded really good because um, it's really stripped back, and it is you know you can hear, hear that the band were really tight, and you know it's all done you know it's just it's just tight, and you get it's more clarity. It's just it just opens it up just a little bit more. My only argue, my only problem is that maybe. The vocals are a little bit too prominent. They could be just pulled back a little bit, uh, but that's just a minimal thing. But if you love the album, I mean, I, again, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't put this on a lot. So listening to it again, it, it reminded me just what a good pop band Marillion were. 
you know, they they were a pop band that 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 dallied with progressive rock imagery and format, right? That's it. You listen to Misplaced Childhood, it is a pop record. It, from the opening start to the bloody end, it is a pop record in that it, it you know, it's hummable, it's, you know, it's popular. People bought the singles, you know. Um, and it was a, it's a good old romp. And it's, it, again, in 5.1, it's the... Um, the bittersweet Art Lothian Laws of the Backstage Blind Curve bit very atmospheric um, and like I say some of the lyrics really really hit home this time talk we we can we can, can never talk you know distance by all that comes between us it just reminds me of me and my father and late father uh, who we, we never really managed to um Patch whatever whatever the, whatever the problem was. I, I, I had no idea what the problem was, um, but it kind of hit home. It was an emotional punch to it this time. Um, I still think White Feather sticks out like a drippy dick at the orgy, but there we go. But yeah, that's what you buy for. And then you also get um, a documentary which is seventy-two minutes long, where Fish and the Boys reminisce with Chris Kimsey, the producer. And again, that's where you that's that's where you pay your that's what you pay your money for to hear them reminisce about old times and added details to the vinyl uh, to the vinyl to the Blu-ray vinyl box set was something different. Um, and then you get the promo videos as well to to ice the cake, as it were. And there's a there's a booklet there's a booklet with essays and pictures and it's nice you know and it's again it's kind of done like the the Jethro Tull reissues it's kind of done like that now if they brought out all the Meridian albums like this now hear that don't tell anyone don't shh. I hear that Will Wilson has done Brave and has, and might even be fingering clutching at straws as we speak shh, 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 don't tell anyone so it looks like that Meridian might be going the Jethro Tull way. You see, and for twenty-five nicker, this ain't bad. But, but, I'm wiggling my finger around. It's the repetition of material. You know, do we need the live set? Do we need the the? You know, it would be better if it had come out as a, I don't know, a, a CD with a blue the Blu-ray or DVD, whatnot. You know, cut down version, you know, fifteen quid. Uh, yeah, but no, we get this and we get a sixty quid box set, which again seems completely over. You know, it's I have, I have no interest in that because there's a lot more live material uh, in there, I believe, or is it the same? I have no, I don't know because I've not done any homework. But for my twenty five ninety nine or whatever it cost, I had an afternoon of enjoyment. And even Verity sat down and listened to it. She she liked the album. She thought it was good, and. Um, and I might have to watch the interview again because the kids were talking to me and stuff throughout it. You know what kids are like. It was a school holidays. It's a school holidays. You don't understand. Until you have children, you don't understand. But we shared Misplaced Childhood and very, very, really enjoyed it. She thought it was really good. So Fish, if you're watching, my daughter liked it, all right? And if you've got any beef, come on, let's, let's bury the beef, man. You know, not that I'm ever going to come and see you live because, you know, but you know, we, let's 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 bury this once and for all. It, I like it. It was good. It's just your solo material is just just not you know, it's not as good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I really liked you when you did this, and I even liked Clutching at Straws even better. Oh, so when they bring that out, you will get another glowing review. So yeah, it's a funny one. It's a funny one, but again. You can see what they're doing. I think, again, this has kind of been inspired by the Jethro Tull reissues, which, again, even though I'm not a big fan of the albums or the band itself, I mean, I like I like you know, a handful of their stuff. I like reading the, the, the little essays inside. I like sitting in and reading it. Because you get a nice, nice little essay, and it's, you know, it's all done really nicely, but the Jethro Tull ones are really superior. But you kind of see what they're aiming for with this. So if you haven't got the album and you're thinking of buying the album... You might want to grab this while you can, because I've got a funny feeling it's going to sell out, and you'll be moaning at me that you haven't got a copy. So go to Amazon. I'll put I'll put a linky. I'll be helpful. I'll put a linky in the description so you can give me some of those Amazon pennies. But pick it up, and if you don't like it, flog it for profit on eBay, or send it to me, and I'll flog it. What? It's a living. 
<laughs> but yeah, so in terms of a rating, oh, 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 wait a minute, I've got a new rating thing. Wait there, wait there, wait there. This is Mike the Mallard. Uh, I bought him for Hannah, but she doesn't like him. But he's going to be giving us the ratings from now on. I know, I know, I know, but so I'm going to give this that. That, that, that's eardrums burst. Oh, should we try it again? Because it kind of come out a bit. <laughs> that's better. It gets it gets a good old honk from Mike the Mallard. You you learn to love it. Trust me. You learn to trust. It. Love me. <laughs> I've lost my thread. You can tell I've been hanging around the kids for six weeks, can't you? <laughs> uh, maybe we won't include Mike the Mallard. I just wanted to show you my new friend. Hannah's looking at me in disgust. <laughs> Got a dog that don't like toys, um, but yeah. So anyway, it's not a dead duck. Hey, the jokes write themselves. So do pick it up. I recommend it if you haven't got it. But if you got this and you and you're not interested in the 5.1 or the documentary, then there's little reason to get it. You know, you might you've, if you got this, you've probably got the thieving magpie as well. So, but if you haven't got any of it, then it's worth it. I think I've explained myself perfectly. Anyway, thank you for watching. There's only one more thing to say. And that is, prog on. We'll do this all again soon.